Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Today, Hillary and I are going to re-tag some Dexter calves that have lost their tags. There's three of them. They were all born in 2019, two heifers and one steer. We have a system for catching cows and calves. We wait till they're eating in the barn here, and then we close the back door to the pasture, and then we work them around into a small pen, which leads to the head gate. Then we can catch them in the head gate and re-tag them. For more action-packed videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. When our herd was small, we didn't have to worry about tagging the cows because we knew them all by sight. But as it grew, of course, we had to start tagging them to identifying them. We tag, castrate, and dehorn calves at two days old. And the reason for doing them so young is we can't catch them after that. They're born out in the pastures in the spring and they can run by day three. So we get it done early. This is our ear tagger. We got it at the local farm store. It was 20 or 30 bucks. Um, you buy packs of tags. These are blank tags so we can number them the way we want. Made by the same company as the ear tagger so everything's compatible. And then the tags go in the ear tagger like this. And then this portion goes in like this. And you clamp it around the cow's ear and just do this. They sell these markers and we've had some of these tags on cows for, I don't know, four or five years now. And the marker never wears off. It's really good stuff. It's like an aerosol can. You shake it up before you use it. Our numbering system is really simple. The first two digits are the year that the calf was born. And the last two digits are when that calf was born in sequence. So 1904 is the fourth calf born in 2019. Simple as can be and it lets us know at a glance how old each animal is and where they are in the order. It used to be that we didn't need to tag our cattle when our herd was smaller because we knew them all by name and knew them all apart, but now we've got so many black little guys running around, you can't tell the difference. When you tag a calf, the ear has two ribs in it, and I try to get the tag right between the two ribs so that it doesn't tear out later on. Obviously, that doesn't always work because these tore out before. And there's one done. All right, let's get you out of this predicament. Here you go, buddy. This head gate was quite an investment for us, and mm. <laughs> we didn't get it until we had cattle for three or four years. But when you got to catch a cow or a calf, there's really no other way to do it. We're not swinging a halter around and trying to do a pregnancy check that way, so. This is a good head gate. It's made by Prefer and uh, it's worked great for us. Here's an interesting puzzle that took me a while to solve. When the cows are in on their winter bedding pack here, they don't tromp it all flat. You wind up with these big clods of hay mixed with manure and no matter how much hay I put in, these clods still develop and they make it difficult for the cattle to step quickly. Cattle are very careful where they put their feet and they'll tend to step in places that have been stepped in previously. So you kind of get these trails of steps going through the bedding pack and they'll wear down those low spots and then you wind up with these high clods getting pushed up. It's kind of like cattle pen geology and when the manure freezes in a cold stretch like this, these things are immovable and they present a real hazard when the cows are trying to move out quickly or when one cow or bull is bullying the other cows and making them move, I worry about a broken leg or a sprain or some sort of an injury. This is a case of one of those three areas I always talk about getting out of whack. Remember infrastructure, markets, and animals. Well, our animal stock went way up with cattle, but our infrastructure hasn't kept pace and we wind up with this. This is a major infrastructure project to fix because it requires putting in a stone base and a concrete slab in here to keep the pack more level. I like to say that farming is what happens while you're making big plans. 
There's so many infrastructure projects that pile up. This spring I have three important ones in the hopper. The first is this, putting in a slab. The second is building a barn for the heifers to keep them separate from the bulls. And the third is we got to replace our septic leaching field. All three of them are high priority. We can only do one in a spring because I have a window in the spring of about a month for those projects and then we get really busy with summer work and that work continues right through fall and then winter comes and the weather is not agreeable to doing any of those things. So it's a real pickle and we have to work hard to figure out which one is really the most important. You're squirrely, buddy. You're pretty squirrely. Head gate work on husbands. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Yeah. What are you guys all looking at me for? I didn't do nothing. Well, that wasn't such a bad job. Sometimes Hillary and I can spend hours chasing calves around. They just don't follow orders as well as their moms and dads do. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.